So I'm a retired Guido now, basically. I guess you can look at it that way. Gained a little weight, got the Italian yarmulke going back here, which is nice. Sorry, we're in the same boat, my friend. You know what I mean, too, right? Here's a big thing for guys, you know? It's a big thing, it's like the big rib, you know? You enjoy it for a limited amount of time, and when it's gone, you're pissed. And uh, back in the 80s was great because I had a, a trans guy to guy in the Seaside Strip would pick all the women up from up North Jersey. And back in the 80s, I don't know if you guys ever really knew the reason they put tea roofs in cars. They had that big fucking hair and you couldn't get them into the car unless you had tea roofs. So they stereotyped it, well, the Italian's going to be buying this car, we're going to put tea roofs in it, his girlfriend's going to have hair up to here, look like Marge Simpson on the way home, blowing in the wind. It's a great stuff. Somebody had eye hair over here. Who would have never guessed? <laughs> but it's tough, man. If I could only get back in a time machine and go back in that Trans Am, I'd take our head coach over there and return that shirt to Chess King. And then we would go, we would go right to the strip, though. Me and you, buddy. Be good stuff. Be good stuff. <laughs> So we got, uh, we got some married couples in here, married couples? <laughs> yeah, right. Very good. Is that the happily married? Is the unhappily married? You guys are very quiet over here. Very quiet. Very, very happy. There's four guys and one of them is wearing a shirt that looks like a stop sign. The other two are bald. This guy's rather knee wearing shorts with a tent in front. Keep your hands above the tables, it's freaking me out, guys. So they're the happy guys over there. Quiet and happy. I am part of Thai, I'm sure. Enough. But uh, no, marriage is tough. Uh, as I, I'm actually married for eight years, it's a long time. Uh, what's our longest in here? We got who's, uh, we got anybody over 20? Anybody over 30? kids on the football team, I assume? Excellent. How many? Six. Six? So it's still working. I don't think it's good. You're not taking the pills or anything like that. Uh, everything's, everything's fine. Don't get into that. How do you guys keep it alive? Do you do role playing or anything like that? A little nuts, right? Yeah, you know. How long can you role play, though? That's the worst thing, especially when you do have kids, because they always go into your closets at some point. You know? And all of a sudden it looks like one day the village people moved in. Why does mom have a hairdryer? <laughs> Crazy stuff, right? But yeah, it takes, you know, it takes a lot to get managed going and they have all those other things out there, you know, that help. Like uh, porn, that always helps, right? It's, it's good stuff. Halloween's coming up. Halloween's coming up. We're all excited about Halloween. See, some of you already got started with costumes. <laughs> Halloween's great. I love this time of year. It's an awesome time, especially when it's 87 degrees out. Um, nothing better than trick-or-treating and sweating your ass off inside of a SpongeBob outfit or something like that. But it's so funny because back in the day when I was a kid, and I'm assuming most of us here are close to or approaching 40, somewhere in that range, do you remember the 70s when you used to go out trick-or-treating and you had a basically a, Pillowcase that you kept your. Now they got like $10 bags with like Perry on them and all this other great stuff. We used to go out, remember the candy bars you get? These big fucking candy bars like this. The pixie sticks were the size of this thing, they were loaded with sugar. It was like mainlining sugar through your eyeball when you were a kid. They even had candy that had a fucking ruler on the back of it. Do you guys remember that? Now you got these, what, fun size? There's nothing fucking fun about them. Because I'll tell you what, when I'm sitting there on Sunday night with a heavy buzz going after watching football, I'm trying to rip them fucking things open. I got like open 40 of them to equal a Kit Kat from 1978. Fun size. <laughs> 